Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see about the eight coolest tricks which you could use in your Canva preparation or documents. So the first feature what I'm going to use is like type gradient. There's a really cool effect where you can give up your gradient colors to your text. So search for type gradient inside your apps. You get up a fast text style like this. So you'll be able to key in your text contents, change the alignments of it, change the fonts and change the colorings as well. So you'll be able to choose a list of custom fonts which are available here and you'll be able to choose your uh, the line height if you have a multi uh, level of text as well you can adjust the line heights there and you will be able to choose uh, pre-built inside uh, color codes whatever is available besides that you'll be able to create your own color codes as well that's one of the coolest feature which we have here click on add to this and uh, you'll be able to get this feature or you can change up the color schemes as well of your choice and you can just drag those the uh, cursor to give your color gradients to this and click on update element you see them on the stage the next cool feature which we have is like lottie files so lottie files is a pre-built uh, open source animation files which are available so search for lottie files before you use this application you have to just create up a free account at lottie files just log in there and be able to use a lot of animated slides or like whenever you're making up a presentation using canva it makes these uh, presentation come live with the help of these animations so you'll be able to search a lot of uh, animation styles which are available inbuilt so you can change the color schemes of them as well. There are some preset colors which you can use by default. So besides that, you can change up your own color schemes and start using them. Lottie Files has got a huge list of uh, animation styles which are available. So if you are building up a website or even an HTML document, you can use their open source files and drag and drop them and use it on your uh, coded websites as well. So this uh, subscribe button is like as easy as uh, what you see here. You can just drag and drop them and start building them on your presentations. And the third feature what I have is uh, tidy up. There's another plugin or an app I would say. So if you've got like multiple text or like elements all over your stage on your screen and you wanted to align them or you wanted to clean them, just select all the elements together and uh, click on this uh, tidy up feature you'll be able to automatically align them just get properly aligned center line into the screen so select all of them and click on um, arrange tidy up space evenly click on tidy up you will be able to see that all of them gets aligned center line and neatly aligned whatever it is irrespective of the contents or the images or icons or fonts whatever it is the next feature what i'm going to show here is like the flourish this is one of these uh, most uh, awaited animation style which we normally see we happen to see this or notice this during our uh, youtube uh, subscriber counts between pewdiepie and uh, t-series the same kind of animation style this is the one that's been used there so you have a big data table with all your contents and you wanted to see a flourish uh, or the growth in your chart or in your business presentations you want to show your presentation with uh, the projections of how your business is going to perform so those kind of growth charts you'll be able to help do with the help of your flourish so this is another cool app which you could use the fifth one is going to be Enhancer. This Enhancer is a cool plugin which helps you to enhance a part of an image. Say for example, I have an image and I don't want to lose the quality of it, but I just wanted to still increase it in size. So what I do is I use this plugin as Enhancer. It will automatically uh, try increasing up the quality of it without losing the uh, resolution in the image. So I'm just dragging up an image here. Drag and drop into your stage. So click on this uh, enhance face, that section alone I'm doing it and I'll be able to see that uh, this particular area of that image alone is like enlarged. You can see here as I'm scaling it, the quality is not lost on that. But the original image, if I'm trying to scale it, you could see the blurriness happening on this image. That's like completely taken care of this with the help of this enhancer plugin. And the sixth plugin which we have here is like mockup. That's another cool plugin. You want to show a presentation, you are making up a business presentation or a product demo and you want to see it on a computer monitor or on a screen or in a different uh, environment. There are a lot of mockups which are available free to use. Just choose your mockup, just drag and drop your product or your uh, item which you want to feature there and you just uh, scale them or like resize them according to your convenience. So here I'm just going to drag this gentleman's picture there. I'm just trying to uh, activate it. It will automatically replace it on the screen. You can crop it, fill it, do all the alignments, flip it. All those changes are possible with the help of this mockup plugin. So I can even tilt these images as well. 
the next feature which I'm going to use, the seventh plugin, is going to be Magic Media. So this Magic Media is the AI generated feature which helps with the help of your AI runway. So where you can search for uh, images with the help of keywords. Here I'm searching for someone with a coffee. So you'll be able to see a lot of images are popping up here. And uh, say for example, uh, I wanted more images like this. Let's right click on that, generate more like that. And you'll be able to see similar images showing up on the screen. And if at all you wanted to uh, take the option as uh, videos, you can also search for videos as well. So click on video and take the option as uh, whatever text you're going to give there. Click on generate video. It'll take quite some time to generate a video. However, they'll be able to give you an output with the exact uh, keywords, whatever you have given onto the screen. So that's a really cool way to make your presentation come really into life when there is a video happening in your uh, presentation. Then the final plugin that I'm going to use is going to be your face retouch. This is a cool plugin very usually, uh, very widely used by all portrait creators or by like photo enthusiasts. So if you have a picture of yourself and you want to retouch the picture of yours and remove the wrinkles on your face or to remove the blemishes on your face, you can use this cool plugin. And it also gives you with uh, creating depth of field as well, where you'll be able to create the blur effect on it. Here I'm giving a smooth skin option and taking the percentage value of it. You'll be able to see that uh, side by side the images have been kept. You can see that the image uh, is uh, not losing the quality. However, the image uh, shows up a face which is like muted, where all your blemishes and the wrinkles are all like taken off. And you'll be able to see the uh, intensity of it as well. You, you can adjust the intensity of it and you can see how it is actually showing up. So this is a blur feature where you can blur the entire image or you can blur only the specific part of this image using this brush tool. Just select that sections alone which you wanted to blur and just try to uh, see an output. You'll be able to see that the image is getting a blur in that area alone. So these are some of the cool eight features or the eight tricks which I've been using in Canva. If you guys know of any other tricks do leave them in the comments i'll be glad to see them what you come up with and if you like videos like this do share it with your friends and uh, do smack the like button as well i'll catch you up in the next video thank you